What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. making some small changes to the garage today um, just a few little bits of DIY I suppose so I'm going to quickly show you them in a second um, before we go to that just want to do a little bit of an update on the free stuff that I got so I've been doing really really well with the stuff that I got with the Wii bundle and that spa uh, so I'll quickly show you um, so that's the Wii bundle there and what I've done is I've bundled that with what I bundle with games, num trucks, Wii Fit board, and obviously the Wii itself. Um, I had in the description that obviously the controllers had a little bit of battery acid problem with them. Um, they still worked absolutely fine though. So I've listed that as, as they're all working, and I sold that for sixty four ninety nine. That's uh, so really really good considering I didn't pay a single penny for that. I also had um, a Wii Sport. A Wii Sport Resort, which one went for fourteen ninety nine, one went for ten, and a couple of other things. I can't quite remember what they were. The other thing was that spa thing that I had. So it's like a kind of a jacuzzi thing. Um, uh, this here, so it's like a bubble jet spa thing. Um, now, when I looked at the solds on these on eBay, one of them sold for about one hundred and twenty seven, but I think that was like. Probably the highest, to be honest. A um, couple of the other ones sold for around about between 70 and 80. So I listed them. Uh, I listed that at 84 99 just to see what I could do for it. And someone locally is actually coming to pick it up uh, and paying £60. Um, now, they've paid through pay, uh, eBay and stuff, so obviously paid my fees and things like that. Uh, but it just means I don't have to pay for postage, because I did have free postage on there. Just with Hermes being a little bit cheap at the moment, so that's sold. Uh, I do still have the um, this Wii gun thing, um, Wii Active with the strap, uh, a couple of the Wii motion controllers, and still quite a few of the games as well. So I'm starting to look a bit empty now. So this yesterday, or the day before, absolutely ram packed um, couldn't get anything else on this shelf this is my current situation with games so I've got an absolutely massive kind of pile of games that needs either sorting or anything like that so I've got these ones here all need resurfaced and sold these ones all resurfaced so you can see the three little gems at the top um, but all need resurfaced and listed Half of these need bundled and resurfaced. In fact, I think there's about two or three in there that need resurfaced and bun and sold. And then all of these oh, behind here are all just bundle games. And these ones here as well. So ones that just bundle with consoles when I get them. And then this one is I'm just going to wait around until I get a Guitar Hero guitar. Oh, that's another thing I sold, actually. The Guitar Hero guitar for the Wii um, with the Guitar Hero 5, I believe it was. 34 99 so absolutely amazing. Uh, I've made around about £180, £200 off this stuff. That was absolutely free, so over the moon with that. So a couple of the things that I have been doing DIY. First thing is this here. Hello. Um, I wanted to have the tablet somewhere where I could access it quite easily because I didn't want it on the desk because it would obviously take up space if I'm listening and stuff like that. Because uh, quite a lot of times I'll tend to watch YouTube videos on how to do things, things like that, and I was just trying to kind of balance it somewhere. So made this. Um, <laughs> you'll laugh when you when you realise how I've done it. Basically cut up a um, Xbox One box and melted it around the tablet. Um, 
and then obviously as you can see he screwed it in this is actually a tripod um, leg <laughs> it was from a faulty tripod that I had um, so that's the leg of that and then just drilled into the top of there so that's that I've then put some velcro on the side of my table so I can have easy access to some microfiber cloths um, they were sitting on the floor and things like that and they were picking things up and scratching my discs so I've just put them up there, they do need cleaned or replaced and I am currently cleaning some controllers <laughs> um, so another thing as well, I did receive a ring light today and this is just a cheap one just to see how it goes. I have actually just seen one on Facebook Marketplace for £40, which looks a bit more of a professional one, so I might end up picking that up if this does all right. Um, so I'm going to test that tonight and see how that gets on. So some really good news. I am going to the car boot sale on Sunday. Um, I was a little bit unsure on what was going to be happening because obviously every video, every single video, that person goes past on that bloody motorbike. <laughs> Are you finished now? There we go. So I convinced my wife to let me go to the car boot sale. Um, so we're going to that on Sunday, and then we're going to go and see her, um, her dad and stuff afterwards. So that's really good. So I'll be taking the camera along um, just to show you, obviously the things that I get and etc. Uh, etc. Et uh, I have recently bought quite a few bundles of um, Xbox 360 controllers. Again, all the ones I've received have all said faulty, and none of them are actually faulty. It's just the battery packs where the pins have been pushed down too, uh, too much. Now, I am a little bit wary when it comes to buying these from people like that obviously resell or um, have a lot of game and stuff because the, more than likely you'll probably find that there is a lot more wrong with them. Whereas these are just people that have, haven't got anything else listed. Um, who are obviously just trying to get rid of some of the stuff in the house and I mean I bought these two for I think it was £4.50 um, plus £2 postage or something like that so I've got £6 at them hopefully be able to get around about £30 out of them and I have got another four coming um, on the way so I want another two for I think it was only about £3 um, oh no actually these ones came with an Xbox 360 um, which I need to buy a cable for, like a power supply. I keep a twenty pound altogether, included postage. Um, I need to test the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, see if that works. But if not, I've made ten pound profit off the two controllers, and then I can probably sell the uh, Xbox for spares and repairs for about ten fifteen pound anyway. So, regardless, it's a win win situation on that one. And uh, the other ones I won for about uh, four pound fifty or something like that. And then two black ones I've got won them for. I think it was £10 altogether, um, including postage. So really, really good prices that I've been getting. Um, as I say, all of them so far, touch wood, have just been a battery pack problem where I've just pulled the pins up and they've worked absolutely fine. Um, one of the ones that are coming, it does look like the joystick might be a little bit faulty. So I might be investing in a soldering iron so I can start doing some soldering because I've done soldering in the past and things like that. So I know what kind of what I'm doing kind of thing so I'm going to try that um, might go totally wrong might not work <laughs> but it's all about uh, trial and error I suppose so yeah so thank you very much for watching uh, my next video will probably be the one on Sunday when I go around the car boot sale so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one